Hey everybody, how you doing? John here, waking up in St. Louis this morning, ready to start our next adventure. This is going to be an upper Mississippi River cruise with American Queen Voyages on the ship American Countess. Now I've been on almost every other part of the waterways in the U.S. with American Queen Voyages, the lower Mississippi on Countess when it debuted a few years ago, the Ohio River, uh, the Pacific Northwest on American Empress, but this is my first time going to the upper Mississippi. I've heard so many good things about it, so I am excited to go. We're gonna sail from St. Louis. They start you with an overnight in a hotel. We stayed at the Hilton St. Louis at the ballpark. So uh, being right next door to Bush Stadium and the Cardinals in town playing the Padres, I, of course, had to go over and check out a game. The hometown Cardinals lost. They are mired in a bad season with one, one month to go. They are fully out of it, but it was fun to check out that stadium get a feel for the crowd. This is one of the best baseball fan bases in the world. Uh, but today we will have some time in St. Louis to look around, enjoy the day. Later in the afternoon, we will get on board a bus, head up to Alton, which is where we will get on American Countess, start our voyage, which will go one week and we'll end in Minnesota in Red Wing. So let's go enjoy our week with American Queen Voyages. Alright, we've arrived here in Alton. We're actually in Alton, Illinois, right here on the Mississippi River, ready to start our voyage. Let's go get on board American Countess. Hello. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Welcome aboard. I'm Thank John. You, I'm your cruise director. John, John. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come to my cabin first thing and I've done a little unpacking. I'm in stateroom number 340. This is an outside with veranda and these verandas open up to the main deck on deck three so you got your own little porch area and then you step right out and it becomes like the public area here and I'll give you a quick look around my stateroom I do have a full ship tour because I was on Countess before when it first launched in 2021 and I do have another cabin tour as well and I'm gonna put those in a link in the description box for this vlog but let's have a quick look around see what you get on board in the cabins plenty of power available US plugs in the USB ports but here's my nice spacious cabin number 340 I put my suitcases under the bed this is the mini fridge, coffee, the outlets you can see here, lots of plugs and USB ports. On our sailing, the cruise director is Jeff Hudson, and our shore excursions manager is Judy, and our river Lorian is Kelly Ray Tubbs. They give you information in the daily voyage that's put in your room, some spa services. I'll show you the spa later. And then you get uh, a lot of information in this booklet. You can order breakfasts in your room with those cards. They do provide water bottles. There are water bottle filling stations on the ship. And there's a nice TV, internet is included. No fee, no password. And there's a little range of informational channels and some cable channels as well. This is the closet with a couple of drawers at the bottom. 
there's your safe, you do get an umbrella, ironing board and an iron, and all that space. A couple of bathrobes are also provided. Some hooks here as you enter, and this is a nice large bathroom. You can see the walk-in shower, hair dryer. Down there you've got a little mirror you can bring up and use. There's all the space in here. All right, so it is about time to sail away. So I'm gonna go up to the top deck and watch us as we pull out to start our voyage. I'm gonna head down to the lounge now and check out the welcome aboard show. Now that we are sailing. Hi. Everyone's first full day on board Countess and we are sailing all morning toward Hannibal, Missouri. Just before seven o'clock today, they're about to open the grand dining room and I'll go down there and get some breakfast, but I want to show you this deck three, just outside my room. There's also the walking path. So there's seven laps around here to a mile. So a lot of people get their day started by doing their laps as the sun rises, so this is really nice. So we sail along the river. I'll take you inside and show you some of the other public spaces and we'll head to breakfast. This is the very front of the ship on deck one, Perks is the little sort of coffee lounge. We get some coffee, juices, teas, sweet treats here. Some views of the river. Those are the landing platform, the stages on uh, the front of the ship. And they have some fresh made popcorn, a popcorn cart and the big popular spot that you often find a little line to the ice cream machine self-serve ice cream available here and then the other side is the small fitness center it's a selection of cardio equipment in here Here's where you can find one of the water bottle filling stations. They have those available in different areas on the ship as well as you pass by. And the river grill and things like that. And this is the grand lobby and bar. This is the main lounge on the ship. You'll find the purser's desk, shore excursions, manager will be here and there's a little boutique as well there's Dee Dee good morning so you get a selection of the American Queen Voyages apparel other gift items and this is where the main hub of activity is on the ship people gather for their pre-dinner cocktails uh -huh. evening entertainment the band will come out and play here the American Countess band 
and that leads to the theater I've shown you and then the grand dining room which is now open for breakfast. This is the deck area forward on two. You can see they got the nice rockers outside for people to sit in, enjoy the river views. And there is a fleet of bikes on board. So I'm gonna plan on checking those out when I'm in port usually. So that'll be how I explore around our port destinations this week. Coming up on a lock up here. We're forward here on deck three. You can see a little seating room. And this is the chart room off to the side. Informational chart about the river, the history, and this is where you're on board. River Lorien is often set up during the day in between giving talks on board about the history and some interesting facts about this stretch of the waterway. And outdoor on the deck, more seating areas to enjoy the outdoor views. Some more seats on this side. We're at the very top of the ship now, on the sun deck. This is kind of a, a little bit of a sparse sun deck, just the seating here. The chairs, they can put up some uh, covers for them. So you have some shade. They've got them down now. It looks pretty wet up here. It must have been raining a bit last night while I was sleeping. But this uh, varies from American Queen in the fleet, which has uh, kind of a more stuff to do on the top deck. They have the swimming pool and a fitness center on the top up there, and they have a bar and things like that. But this is just what, what you see is what you get here. This is a crew area up front, and then the seating back here. Uh, I'm going to do my workout up here because you saw they didn't have any dumbbells or anything in the fitness center so I brought my fitness band so plenty of space up here to do all kinds of resistance exercises uh, and then ashore I'll do my cardio by using the bikes and going for some runs this week. Hey, we're pulling up in Hannibal. Let's have a look at what you can do today in Hannibal. Every day you've got a daily voyage. They drop that off the night before in your room. That's your day's program, all the restaurants and information about your destination. And you do get these handy maps showing you all the points of interest for the towns that you visit. And it traces the route of American Queen Voyages hop on, hop off tours. These are the included tours in every port destination. The coach tours, uh, they operate a coach service that runs around town from stop to stop. You can get off the bus when you want to see a site, stay on to the next site, whatever you want to do, do it at your leisure. So that's available. And throughout the week they also do include a form you can fill out to do some premium for fee excursions as well. So 
It's always handy to carry this map around with you. I'm going to go into town, explore by foot and by bike, and have a, a look around Hannibal. But first I'm going to grab some lunch. River Grill today uh, will be my choice. River Grill is the casual eatery at the back of the ship on deck two. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Dinner, it's uh, the alternative dining venue, more casual. They do have a carving station and you can have a quicker meal there. It's a good option. River Grill is open seating and you can sit indoors or outdoors. There's a bar. And the buffet features some sweet treats, soups, sandwiches, and you can even get a made to order smash burger, order fries. And if you sit outside, you can enjoy views of the paddle wheel. There you got a full look at our ship, American Countess. I have check the bike off the boat and you can see over here there's the coaches that do the hop on hop off tours around town but I'm gonna go ahead and get in a bike ride and uh, see how far I can go before I run out of sights let's go Indeed, everywhere you turn in this town, you're finding images of Mark Twain, uh, Mark Twain dinettes, Mark Twain, welcome to Missouri signs, welcome to Hannibal. This is the Mark Twain Memorial White House. It is way up here on the hill. It was a tough uh, little stretch of bike riding. Most stuff's flat around here, but there's a couple mounds that you gotta really pedal hard to get up. So I'm up here, I'm taking a break. I'm gonna scoot back down and I'll show you one last stop on the highlights here in Hannibal. It's Mark Twain's Boyhood Home and Museum. You don't often get a sea day on a river cruise, but that's just what we got here. A day of sailing here on the Mississippi as we make our way from Hannibal to Bettendorf, Iowa. So it's a full day on the ship. So mainly activities on board enrichment, some games and things like that. I'll show you what we get up to here and there, but I'm gonna start the day this morning up top again with another workout and then we'll just see the scenery along the way. Surely said my husband will never forget he used to be a steamboat captain. Every night before bed, he makes me blank. Rub his feet. <laughs> Not an ash. Not an ash. All right.
We have a day of relaxation on the river today, so I booked myself a sweetest massage. They have a range of treatments available. The booklet provided in your stateroom. So let me head down there and show you the facilities. Good morning, we're here in Bettendorf, Iowa in the Quad Cities area on the Iowa-Illinois border. And I'm gonna go for a run and then I'm gonna come back and show you what the program is for here. So there's the docking position here in Bettendorf for Countess. Uh, there's nothing really close to port as you can see but this is the route today that they've got for the hop on hop off it's down the river a bit so the buses are heading this way toward town and then downtown i'm going to take a bike ride to the isabel bloom studio and then uh we'll go from there I'm back, it's uh, time for lunch. I'm gonna head back on board. So it was about a 20 minute ride into Davenport, Iowa. And I saw the Isabel Bloom sculpture studio and bought Colleen a little gift for our garden. And then biked on over to the Figgy Museum and they have a Charles Schultz exhibit that runs out in a couple days. So we were lucky to get to see that before it goes away. So. That's all I did on the hop on hop off with my bike. This whole route is about one hour today, a loop. If you did every stop and so the shuttle buses will be taking the guests around doing that all day. But I'm gonna get back on board and enjoy more of the riverboat. I just finished my lunch and I wanna show you a couple more of the spaces I haven't seen. I think these are the last two. Uh, they have the library up here, the front on deck two. Nice large space for relaxing. A lot of books. Got the chess and checkers table there. Views out the front of the ship, fireplace. So this is a nice place. And right next door is the card room where you'll find games and puzzles. And then they put the daily word games and Sudoku and things like that here as well and there's a large screen TV but uh I've made my daily cookie run after lunch so I'm gonna have my cookies and maybe a nap we'll see
We're in Dubuque, Iowa for the morning and there is a route that takes us to a St. Luke's church and then a funicular, an elevator ride, an angled incline elevator that is on the hop on hop off tour. So I'm gonna take my bike around and those will be the sites I'm gonna see for today. And then we'll continue on around town. See what we see here in Dubuque. We are cruising away from Dubuque this afternoon. In the next few days, we're going to be in La Crosse, Wisconsin, then finally in Red Wing, Minnesota to wrap up this voyage. You can see as we get farther north in the Mississippi River, it gets wider. You get more recreational boaters. There's a beach over there. There's more islands in the middle of the river. You're seeing a lot more bird life. So pretty cool. It is a lot more scenic up here than the one I did down in the southern Mississippi on Countess uh, a couple years ago. Let me know what you think of this video, this trip, this boat, what you think about it. Ask me any questions if you want. I'll try to answer them for you. This cruise is mostly inclusive. Uh, the food, the drinks are included with your fare, except for some premium drink options. Uh, you will pay for premium shore excursion, the op optional excursions, but they do have included uh, hop on hop off tours every day. And you will pay for transfers if you need transfers to and from the airport. But anything else you can think you want to ask, go ahead and put a uh, question down below. Uh, hit the thumbs up, please, and subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss any of our content. I'm going to finish out this video, show you what I get up to in La Crosse and Red Wing. I'm planning a kayaking adventure there. Uh, it's actually in Wabash, Minnesota when we get to Red Wing. So here are those highlights and we'll see you in the next one.